Um, we're going to just give a few more seconds and then uh, we're going to be able to start. Um, is there anyone that would like to pray this morning? Okay, I'm going to pray a uh, prayer. Surely, in the name of our finance, in as well. Surely I'm turning myself to you, O oh Allah, striving to be your pride to him who has originated the heavens and the earth, and I am not from among the polytheists. Surely my prayers and my sacrifices, my life and my death, are all for Allah, the Lord of the world. No associate has he, and this I am commanded, and I am of those who submit. O oh Allah, thou art the king, there is no God but thee. Thou art my Lord, and I am thy servant. And I've been greatly unjust to myself, and I confess my faults. So grant me protection against all my faults, for none can grant protection against faults but thee. And guide me unto the best of morals, for none can guide unto the best of morals but thee. And turn away from me the evil and indecent morals, for none can turn away from me the evil and indecent morals but thee. O Allah. Make Muhammad successful and make the true followers of Muhammad successful. As thou did make Abraham and the true followers of Abraham successful, for surely thou art praised and magnified. And O Allah, bless Muhammad and bless the true followers of Muhammad, as thou did bless Abraham and the true followers of Abraham, for surely thou art praised and magnified. Amen. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, King in the person of Master Farhan Muhammad. I also bear witness that the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is our exalted Christ, and the honorable Minister Farrakhan is our Messiah. The senior names that I greet you all in the greeting words of peace. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, so. We is there any reader type reader in the comments? If you would like to read today, do we have any reader today? <coughs> Please type reader if you would like to read. If you feel like reading this morning, please that prayer. Okay, Sister Victoria, thank you so much for reading. And if you, if there's anyone else that would like to read, um, please that reader, and then uh, we'll get to your turn. Um, I'm about to mute myself and then Sister Victoria, I'm going to go onto the Kindle version and then um, you can start. Thank you.
gonna just go ahead and start the reading. Um, and I'll just name the section as I go along. I'm not sure what's going on with the um, with the screen share. Chapter 16, section two, nature upholds unity. He it is who sends down water from the clouds for you. It gives drink and by it grow the trees on which you feed. He causes to grow for you thereby her herbage and the olives and the date palms and the grapes and all the fruits. Surely there is a sign in this for a people who reflect. And he has made subservient for you the night and the day and the sun and the moon. And the stars are made subservient by his command. Surely there are signs in this for a people who understand. And what he has created for you in the earth is of varied hues. Surely there is a sign in this for a people who are mindful. And he it is who has made the sea subservient, that you may eat fresh flesh from it and bring forth from it ornament which you wear. And though, and thou seest the ships cleaving through it, so that you seek of his bounty, and that you may give thanks. And he has cast firm mountains in the earth, lest they quake with you, and rivers and roads that you may go aright. And landmarks, and by the stars they find the right way. Is he then who creates like him who creates not? Do you not then mind? And if you would count Allah's favors, you would not be able to number them. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. And Allah knows what you conceal and what you do openly. And those whom they call on besides Allah created not, while they are themselves created. Dead are they, not living, and they know not when they will be raised. Section three, denial due to ignorance. Your God is one God. So those who believe not in the hereafter, their hearts refuse to know, and they are proud. Undoubtedly, Allah knows what they hide and what they manifest. Surely he loves not the proud. And when it is said to them, what is it that your Lord has revealed? They say stories of the ancients, that they may bear their burdens in full on the day of resurrection and also of the burdens of those whom they lead astray without knowledge. A, evil is what they hear. Section four, the wicked will come to disgrace. Those before them plotted, so a lot demolished their building from the foundations. So the roof fell down on them from above them. And the chastisement came to them from whence they perceived not. Then on the resurrection day, he will bring them to disgrace and say, where are my partners? For whose sake you became hostile? Those who are given the knowledge will say, surely disgrace this day and evil are upon the disbelievers. Whom the angels cause to die while they are unjust to themselves. Then would they offer submission. We did not do any evil. Nay, surely Allah knows what you did. To enter the gates of hell to abide therein. Evil indeed is the dwelling place of the proud. And it is said to those who guard against evil, what has your Lord revealed? They say, good, for those who do good in this world is good. And certainly the abode of the hereafter is better. And excellent indeed is the abode of those who keep duty. Gardens of perpetuity, perpetuity, which they enter, wherein flow rivers. They have therein what they please. Thus does Allah reward those who keep their duty. Whom the angels cause to die in purity, saying, peace be to you. Enter, enter the garden for what you did. Await they ought, but that the angels should come to them, or that thy Lord's command should come to pass. Thus did those before them, and Allah wronged them not, but they wronged themselves. So the evil of what they did afflicted them, 
and that which they mocked encompassed them. Section five, prophets are raised to explain. And the idolaters say, if Allah pleased, we would not have served aught by Allah, but, uh, but him, neither we nor our fathers, nor would we have pro prohibited aught uh, without order from him. Thus did those before them, but have the messengers any duty except a plain delivery of the message. And certainly we raised in every nation a messenger saying, serve a lot and shun the devil. Then of them was he whom Allah guided. And of them was he whose remaining in error was justly due. So travel in the land, then see what was the end of the rejectors. If thou desirest their guidance, yet Allah will not guide him who leads astray, nor have they any helpers. And they swear by Allah, their most energetic oaths. Allah will not raise up him who dies. Yeah, it is a promise binding on him, quite true, but most people know not. So that he might make manifest to them that about which they differ, and that those who disbelieve might know that they are liars. Our word for a thing, when we intend it, is only what we say to it, be and it is. Section six, doom of opponents is coming. And those who flee for Allah's sake after they are oppressed, we shall certainly give them a good abode in the world. And the reward of the hereafter, hereafter is much greater. Did they but know? Those who are steadfast and on their Lord, thy rely. And we sit not before thee any but men to whom we sent revelation to ask the followers of the remind, reminder, if you know not. With clear arguments and scriptures, and we have revealed to thee the reminder that thou mayest make clear to men that which has been revealed to them and that haply they may reflect. Are they then who plan evil, who plan evil plans, secure that Allah will not abuse them in the earth, abase them in the earth, or that chastisement will not overtake them from whence they perceive not, or that he will not seize them in their going to and fro, then they will not be able to escape, or that he will not seize them with a gradual diminu diminu diminution. Your Lord is surely compassionate, merciful. See they not everything that Allah has created? Its very shadows return from right and left, making obeisance to Allah, while they are in utter abasement. And to Allah makes obeisance everything, every living creature that is in the heavens and that is in the earth, and the angels too, and they are not proud. They fear their Lord above them and do what they command. What they, what they are, they fear their Lord above them and do what they are commanded. Section seven, human nature revolts against polytheism. polytheism. And Allah has said, take not two gods, he is only one God, so me alone should you fear. And whatever is in the heavens and the earth is his. And to him is obe obedience due always. Will you then fear other than Allah? And whatever good you have, it is from Allah. Then when evil afflicts you to him, do you cry for aid? Then when he removes the, the evil from you, some of you associate others with their Lord. So as to obey what we have given them, then enjoy yourselves, for soon will you know. And they set apart for what they know not, a portion of what we have given them. By Allah, you shall certainly be questioned about what, about that which you forged. And they ascribe daughters to Allah, glory be to him, and for themselves is what they desire. 
And when the birth of a daughter is announced to one of them, his face becomes black and he is full of wrath. He hides himself from the people because of the evil of what it is announced to him, of what is announced to him. Shall he keep it with disgrace or bury it alive in the dust? Now surely evil is what they judge. For those who believe not in the hereafter are evil attributes, and the lies are the sublime attributes, and he is the mighty, the wise. Section eight, iniquity of deniers. And if Allah were to destroy men for their iniquity, he would not leave therein a single creature, but he respites them till in the appointed time. So when their doom comes, they are not able to delay it an hour, nor can they advance it. And they ascribe to a lie what they themselves hate, and their tongues relate the lie that for them is good. A son assuredly for them is the fire, and they will be therein abandoned. By a lie, we certainly sent messengers to nations before thee. But the devil made their deeds fair seeming to them. So he is their patron today, and for them is a painful chastisement. And we have not revealed to thee the book, except that thou mayest make clear to them that wherein they differ, and as a guidance and a mercy for a people who believe. And Allah sends down water from above, and therewith gives life to the earth after his death. Surely there is a sign in this for people who listen. Section nine, parables showing the truth of revelation. And surely there is a lesson for you in the cattle. We give you to drink of what is in their bellies from betwixt the feces and the blood, pure milk agreeable to the drinker and of the fruits of the palms and the grapes you obtain from them intoxicants and godly provision. There is surely a sign in this for people who ponder. And thy Lord revealed to the bee, make hives in the mountains and in the trees and, and in what they build. Then eat of all the fruits and walk in the ways of thy Lord submissively. There comes forth from their bellies a beverage of many hues in which there is healing for men. Therein is surely a sign for a people who reflect. And Allah creates you when he causes you to die. And of you is he who is brought back to the worst part of life so that he knows nothing after having knowledge. Surely Allah is known and powerful. And 10, the recipient of revelation. And Allah has made some of you excel others, excel others in the means of subsistence. And so those who are made to excel give not away their sustenance to those whom their right hands possess so that they may be equal therein. Will they then deny the favor of Allah? And Allah has made wives for you from among yourselves and has given you sons and daughters from your wives and has provided you with good things. Will they then believe in falsehood and deny the favor of Allah? And they serve besides Allah that which controls for them no sustenance at all from the heavens and the earth, nor have they any power. So coin not similitudes for Allah. Surely Allah knows and you know not. Allah sets forth a parable. There is a slave, the property of another, controlling not, and there is one to whom we have granted from ourselves goodly provision. So he spins from it secretly and openly. Are the two alike? Praise be to Allah. Nay, most of them not, know not. And Allah sets forth a parable of two men, one of them dumb, one of them dumb, controlling not, and he is a burden to his master, who wherever he sends him, he brings no good. Is he equal with him who 
and joins justice and he is on the right path. Section 11, punishment withheld. And the loss is the unseen of the heavens and the earth. And the matter of the hour is, but as a twinkling of the eye, it is nigher, it is nigher still. Surely a lies possessor of power over all things. That Allah brought you forth from the wounds of your mothers, and you knew nothing, and he gave you hearing and sight in hearts that you might give thanks. See they not the birds, constrained in the middle of the sky. None withholds them but Allah. Surely in this are signs for people who believe. And Allah has given you an abode in your houses, and he has given you houses of the skins of cattle, which you find light to carry on the day of your march and on the day of your halting, and of their wool and their fur and their hair, household stuff and a provision for a time. And Allah has made for you of what he has created shelters and he has given you in the mountains places to retreat. He has given you garments to save you from the heat and coats of mail to save you in your fighting. Thus does he complete his favor to you that you may submit. Then if they turn away, thy duty is only clear deliverance of the message. They recognize the favor of Allah, yet they deny it, and most of them are ungrateful. Section 12, prophets testify. And on the day when we raise up a witness out of every nation, then permission to offer excuse will not be given to the disbelievers, nor will they be allowed to make amends. And when the wrongdoers see the chastisement, it will not be lightened for them, nor will they be respited. And when those who ascribe partners to Allah see their associate gods, they will say, our Lord, these are our associate gods on whom we call besides thee, but they will throw back at them the word, surely you are liars, and they will tender submission to Allah on that day, and what they use to earth to forge will fail them. Those who disbelieve and hinder men from Allah's way, we will add chastisement to their chastisement because they make mischief. And on the day when we raise up in every people a witness against them from among themselves and bring thee as a witness against thee, and we have revealed of the book to thee explaining all things and the guidance and mercy and good news for those who submit. Section 13, revelation enjoins good. Surely Allah enjoins justice in the doing of good to others and the giving to the kindred and he forbids indecency and evil and rebellion. He admonishes you that you may be mindful and fulfill the covenant of Allah when you have made a covenant and break not the oaths after making them fast. And you have indeed made Allah your surety. Surely Allah knows what you do. And be not like her who unravels her yarn, disintegrating it into pieces, disintegrating it into pieces. After she has spun it strongly, you make your oaths to be means of deceit between your house. You make your oaths to be means of deceit between you, between you because one nation is more numerous than another nation. Allah only tries you by this, and he will certainly make clear to you on the day of resurrection that within wherein you differed, differed. And if Allah please, he would make you a single nation, but he leaves in error whom he pleases and guides whom he pleases. And certainly you will be questioned as to what you did. And make not your oaths a means of deceit between you, lest a foot should slip after its stability, and you should taste evil because you hinder men from Allah's way, and grievous chastisement be your lot. And take not a small price for Allah's covenant. Surely what is with 
Allah is better for you, did you but know. What is with you passes away, and what is with Allah is enduring, and we shall certainly give to those who are patient their reward for the best of what they did. Whoever does good, whether male or female, and is a believer, we shall certainly make him live a good life, and we shall certainly give them their rewards for the best of what they did. So when thou recitest the Quran, seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. Surely he has no authority over those who believe and rely on their Lord. His, his authority is only over those who befriend him and those who associate others with him. Section 14, the Quran is not a forgery. And, we, we, and when we change a message for a message and Allah knows best what he reveals, they say thou art only a forger. Nay, most of them know not. Say the Holy Spirit has revealed it from thy Lord with truth, that it may establish those who believe and as a guidance and good news for those who submit. And indeed we know what know that they say. Only a mortal teaches him. The tongue of him whom they hint at is foreign, and this is clear Arabic language. Those who believe not in Allah's messages, Allah guides them not and for them is a painful chastisement. Only they forge lies who believe not in Allah's messages, and they are the liars. Whoso disbelieves in Allah after his belief, not is he who is compelled while his heart is content with faith, but he who opens his breast for disbelief. Excuse me. On them is the wrath of Allah, and for them is a grievous chastisement. That is because they love this world's life more than the hereafter, and because Allah guides them not, the disbelieving people. And Allah guides not the disbelieving people. These are they whose hearts and ears and eyes Allah has sealed, and these are the heedless ones. No doubt that in the hereafter they are the losers. Then surely thy Lord to those who flee after that they are persecuted, then struggle hard and are patient. Surely thy Lord after that is protecting merciful. Section 15, fate of the op opponents. On the day when every soul will come pleading for itself and every soul will be paid in full what is, it has done and they will not be dealt with unjustly. And Allah sets forth a parable a town safe and secure, to which its means of sustenance came in abundance every, from every quarter, but is disbelieved in Allah's favor, but it disbelieved in Allah's favor. So Allah made it taste a pall of hunger and fear because of what they wrought. And certainly there came to them a messenger from among them, but they rejected him. So the chastisement overtook them while they were wrongdoers. So eat of Allah, what Allah has given you, lawful and good things, and give thanks for Allah's favor. If he, it is you serve. He has forbidden you only what dies of itself and dies of itself in blood and the flesh of swine and that over which on any other name than that of Allah has been evoked. But whoever is driven to it, not desiring nor exceeding the limit, then surely Allah is forgiving merciful. And utter not for what your tongues describe the lie. This is lawful and this Un, and this unlawful, so that you forge a lie against Allah. Surely those who forge a lie against Allah will not prosper. A little enjoyment, and for them is a painful chastisement. And to those who are Jews, we prohibited what we have related to thee already, and we did them no wrong, but they wronged themselves. 
and surely thy Lord for those who do evil in ignorance, then turn after that and make amends. Surely thy Lord after that is forgiving, merciful. Section 16, the way to greatness. Surely Abraham was a model of virtue, obedient to Allah, upright, and he was not of the polytheists. Greatness for his favor, he chose him. He chose him and guided him on the right path. And who gave him good in this world and in the hereafter, he is surely among the righteous. Then we reveal to thee, follow the faith of Abraham, the upright one, and he was not of the polytheists. The Sabbath was ordained only against those who differed about it. And surely thy Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection concerning that wherein they differed. Call to the way of the Lord, thy Lord, with wisdom and good goodly exhortation and argue with them in the best manner surely thy lord knows best knows best him who strays from his path and he knows best those who go aright and if you take your turn then punish with the then punish with the like of that with which you are afflicted but if you show patience it is certainly best for the patient and be patient, and thy patience is not but by the help of Allah. And grieve not for them, nor be in distress for what they plan. Surely Allah is with those who keep their duty and those who do good to others. Chapter, part 15, chapter 17, the Israelites. Section 1. Israelites punished twice. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. Glory to him who carried his servant by night from the sacred mosque to the remote mosque, and whose press precincts we bless, precincts we bless, that we might show him of our signs. Surely he is the hearing, the seeing. And we gave Moses the book and made it a guidance to the children of Israel, saying, Take no guardian beside me. The offspring of those whom we bore with Noah, surely he was a grateful servant. And we made known to the children of Israel in the book, certainly you will make mischief in the land twice and behave insolently with mighty arrogance. So when of the two, the first warning came to pass, we raised against you our servants of mighty prowess, so they made havoc in your houses, and it was an accomplished threat. Then we gave you back the turn against them and aided you with wealth and children and made you a numerous band. If you do good, you do good for your own souls, and if you do evil, it is for them. So when the second warning came, we raised another people that they might bring you to grief and that they might enter the mosque as they entered it the first time and that they might destroy whatever they conquered with utter destruction. It may be that your Lord will have mercy on you. And if you return to mischief, you, we will return to punishment. And we have made hell a prison for the disbelievers. Surely this Quran guides to that which it is most upright and gives good news to the believers who do good. <sighs> Excuse me. That theirs is a great reward and that those who believe not in the hereafter, we have prepared for them a painful chastisement. Section two, every deed has a consequence. And man prays for evil as he ought to pray for good and man is ever hasty. And we made the night and the day two signs. Then, then we have made the sign of the night to pass away. And we have made the sign of the day manifest so that you may seek grace from your Lord and that you may know the numbering of years and the reckoning. And we have explained everything with distinctness. And we have made every man's actions to cling to his neck. And we, sh and we shall bring forth to him 
on the day of resurrection, a book which he will find wide open. Read thy book. Thine own soul is sufficient as a reckoner against this day. Whoever goes aright for his own soul does he go aright. And whoever goes astray, it is his detriment only does he go astray. And no bearer of a burden can bear the burden of another, nor do we chastise until we raise a messenger. And when we wish to destroy a town, we send, a, we send commandments to its people who lead easy lives, but they transgress therein. Thus the word proves true against it, so we destroy it with utter destruction. And how many generations did we destroy after Noah? And thy Lord suffices as being aware and seer of his servant's sins. Whoso desires this trans transitory life, we hasten to him therein what we please for whom e whomsoever we desire. Then we assign to him the hell. He will enter it despised, driven away. And whoso desires the hereafter and strives for it as he ought to strive, and he is a believer, those are they whose striving is simply rewarded, is amply rewarded. All do we aid those as well as those. All do we aid these as well as those out of the bounty of thy Lord and the bounty of thy Lord is not limited. See how we have made some of them to excel others. And certainly the hereafter is greater in degrees and greater in excellence. Associate not on, associate not any other God with Allah, lest thou sit down despite forsaken, despised forsaken. Section three, moral precepts. And thy Lord has decreed that you serve none but him and do good to parents if either if either or both of them reach old age with thee, say not be to them, nor shy them, and speak to them a generous word. And lower to them the wing of humility out of mercy, and say, my Lord, have mercy on them, as they brought me up when I was little. Your Lord knows best what is in your minds. If you are righteous, he is surely forgiving to those who turn to him and give to the near of kin his due and to the needy and the way fair and the squanderer not wasteful. Surely the squanderers are the devil's brethren and the devil is ever ungrateful to his Lord. And if thou turn away from them to seek mercy from thy Lord, which thou hopes for, Speak to them a gentle word, and make not thy hand to be shackled to thy neck, nor stretch it forth to the utmost limit of its stretching forth, lest thou sit down, blamed, striped off, stripped off. Surely thy Lord makes plentiful the means of sub substance for whom he pleases, and he straightens. Surely he is ever aware, seer of his servants. Section four moral precepts, and kill not your children for fear of poverty. We provide for them and for you. Surely the killing of them is a great wrong. And go out not to fornication. Surely it is an obscenity, and evil is the way. And kill not the soul which Allah has forbidden, except for a just cause. And whoever is slain unjustly, we have indeed given to his heir authority, but let him not exceed the limit in slain. Surely he will be helped. And draw not nigh to the orphan's property and accept in a goodly way till he attains his maturity and fulfill the promise. Surely the promise will be inquired into and give full measure 
when you measure out and weigh with a true balance. This is fair and better in the end. And follow not that of which thou hast no knowledge. Surely the hearing and the sight and the heart of all of these will be asked. And go not about in the land exultingly, for thou canst not rend the earth, nor reach the mountains in height. All this, the evil thereof, is hateful in the sight of thy Lord. This is of the wisdom, this is of the wisdom which thy Lord has revealed to thee, and associate not any other God with Allah, lest thou be thrown into hell, blamed, cast away. Has then your Lord preferred to give you sons and for himself taken daughters for among the angels, from among the angels? Surely you utter a grievous saying. Section five, disbelievers grow harder. And certainly we have repeated warnings in this Quran that they may be mindful and it adds not save to their aversion. Say, if there were with him gods, and they say, then certainly they would have been able to seek a way to the Lord of the throne. Glory to him, and he is highly exalted above what they say. The seven heavens and the earth and those in them declare his glory, and there is not a single thing but glories, and there is not a single thing but glorifies him with his praise. But you do not understand their glorification. Surely he is forbearing, forgiving. And when thou recitest the Quran, we play between thee and those who believe not in the hereafter, a hidden barrier. And we put coverings on their hearts and a deafness in their ears, lest they understand it. And when thou makest mention of thy Lord alone in the Quran, they turn their backs in aversion. We know best what they listen to when they listen to thee. And when they and when they take counsel secretly, when the wrongdoers say, you follow only a man deprived of reason. See what they liken thee to. So they have gone astray and cannot find the way. And they say, when we are bones and decayed particles, shall we then be raised up as a new creation? say, be stones or iron, or some other creature of those which are too hard to, re to receive life in your minds. But they will say, who will return us? Say, he who created you at first. Still, they will shake their heads at thee and say, when will it be? Say, maybe it has drawn nigh. On the day when he will call you forth, then will you obey him giving him praise, and you will think that you tarred him but a little while. Think that you tarried but a little while. Section six, punishment must follow. And say to my servants that they speak what is best. Surely the devil sows dissensions among them. The devil is surely an open enemy to men. Your Lord knows you best. He will have mercy on you. If he please, or he will chastise you, if he please. And we have not sent thee as being in charge of them. And thy Lord best knows those who are in the heavens and the earth. And certainly we made some of the prophets to excel others. And to David we gave the Zabur. Say, call on those whom you assert besides him. They have no power to remove distress from you, nor to change. Those whom they call upon themselves seek the means of access to their Lord. Whoever of them is nearest, and they hope for his mercy and fear his chastisement. Surely the chastisement of thy Lord is a thing to be cautious of. And there is not a town, but we will destroy it before the day of resurrection or chastise it with a severe chastisement. That is written in the book. And nothing hindered us from sending signs, but the ancients rejected them. And we gave to Tamud, the she-camel, a manifest sign, but they did her wrong. And we send not signs, but to warn. 
And when we said to thee, surely thy Lord encompasses men, and we make not the vision which we showed thee, but a trial for men. It also as also the tree cursed in the Quran, and we warned them, but it only adds to their great inordinacy. Section seven, the devil's opposition to the righteous. And when we said, and when we said to the angels, be submissive to Adam, they submitted except Iblis. He said, Shall I submit to him whom thou hast created of dust? He said, seest thou, this is he whom thou hast honored above me. If thou respite me to the day of resurrection, I will certainly cause his progeny to perish except a few. He said, be gone. Whoever of them follows thee, surely hell is your recompense, recompense, a full recompense. And incite whom thou canst of them with thy voice and collect against them thy horse and thy foot, and share with them in wealth and children, and promise them. And the devil promises them only to deceive. My servants, thou hast surely no authority over them, and thy Lord suffices as having charge of affair. Your Lord is he who speeds the ships for you in the sea, that you may seek of his grace. Surely he is ever merciful to you. And when distress afflicts you in the sea, away go those whom you call on, except he. But when he brings you to safe land, you turn away, and man is ever ungrateful. Do you then feel secure that he will not bring you low on a tract of land or send on you a violent wind? Then you will not find a protector for yourselves. Or do you feel secure that he will not take you back into it another time? Then send me, I mean, then send on you a fierce gale and thus overwhelm you for your, uh, excuse me. He will not take you back into it another time then send on you a fierce gale and thus overwhelm you for your ungratefulness. Then you will not find any aider against us in the matter. And surely we have honored the children of Adam and we will carry them in the land and the sea. And we provide them with good things and we have made them to excel highly most of those whom we have created. Section eight, opposition to the prophet. On the day when we shall call every people with their leader, then whoever is given his book in his right hand, those will read their book and they will not be dealt with a wit unjustly. And whoever is blind in this world, he will be blind in the hereafter and further away from the path. And surely they have purpose to turn thee away from that which we have revealed to thee and that thou shouldst forge against us other than that, and then they would have taken thee for a friend. And if we had not made thee firm, thou mightest have indeed inclined to them a little. Then we would have made thee taste a double punishment in life and a double punishment after death, and then thou wouldst not have found any helper against us. And surely they purpose to unsettle thee from the land that they might expel thee from it and then they will not tarry after thee but a little this is our way with our messengers whom we sent before thee and thou will not find a change in our course section nine keep up prayer from the dis declining of the sun to the darkness of the night and the recital of the quran at dawn surely the recital of the quran at dawn is witnessed And during a part of the night, keep awake by it beyond what is incumbent on thee. Maybe thy Lord will raise thee to a position of great, of great glory. And say, my Lord, 
make me enter a truthful entering and make me go forth a truthful going forth and grant me from thy presence and authority to help me and say the truth has come and falsehood vanished. Surely falsehood is ever bound to vanish. And we reveal of the Quran that which is healing and a mercy to the believers. And it adds only to the perdition of the wrongdoers. And when we bestow favors of man, he turns away and behaves proudly. And when evil afflicts him, he is in despair. Say, everyone acts according to his manner, but your Lord best knows who is best guided on the path. Section 10, the Quran, a unique guidance. And they ask thee about the revelation. Say, the revelation is by the commandment of my Lord, and of knowledge you are given but a little. And if we please, we can certainly take away that which we have revealed to thee. Then thou wouldst find none to plead thy cause against us. But it is a mercy from thy Lord. Surely his bounty thee is abundant. Say, if man and jinn should combine together to bring the like of this Quran, they could not bring the like of it, though some of them were aiders of others. And certainly we have made clear for men in this Quran. Every kind of description, but most men consent to not save denying. Or, or thou have a garden of palms and grapes in the midst of which thou cause rivers to flow forth abundantly. Or thou cause the heavens to come down upon us in pieces, as thou thinkest or bring a law and the angels face to face with us. Or thou have a house of gold, or thou ascends into heaven, and we will not believe in thy ascend ascending till thou bring down to us a book we can read. Say glory to my Lord, and my aunt but a mortal messenger. Section 11, justice of retribution. And nothing prevents people from believing when the guidance comes to them, except that they say, has Allah raised a mortal to be a messenger. Say, had there been in the earth angels walking about secure, we would have sent down to them from the heaven an angel as messenger. Say, Allah suffices for a witness between me and you. Surely he is ever aware of his servant seeing. And he whom Allah guides, be it, he is on the right way. And he whom he leads in error, for them thou wilt find no guidance, guardians besides him. And we shall gather them together on the day of resurrection on their faces, blind and dumb and deaf. Their abode is hell. Whenever it abates, we make them burn the more. This is their retribution because they disbelieve in our messages and say, when we are bones and decayed particles, shall we then be raised up into a new creation? See they not, see they not that Allah who created the heavens and the earth is able to create the like of them. And he has appointed for them a term whereof there is no doubt, but the wrongdoers consent to not by denying. Say, if you control the treasures of the mercy of my Lord, then you would withhold them for fear of spending and many is ever niggardly. And that is the conclusion of today's reading. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Sister Victoria. Wow, you read the whole the whole time. Thank you so much for that. Um, is there anyone that has a comment? Please um, raise your hand or type the number two. If you have any comments, please type the number two. No comments today? Is there anything that you liked or that made you think or made you 
that you feel like okay sister victoria go ahead sis this one i don't know if i had any more words um, <laughs> um so in chapter um chapter 17 um there are like two clear like instructions but also um consolements in one consolement i'll say so for chapter i mean verse 23 he was speaking about the proper way to treat our parents in their old age um and that lord decreed that you serve none but him is that the right one yes none but him and do good to parents if either or both of them reach old age with thee say not fie i don't know what that word means f-i-e um, to them, nor chide them, and speak to them a generous word, and lower to them the wing of humility out of mercy, and say, my Lord, have mercy on them, as they brought me up when I was little. Um, to me, that just meant, like, you know, sometimes we can, um, we can try to enact on our parents in their old age what they you know, things that they may have enacted on us by way of, you know, smart comments or making them feel bad if we have to care for them or um, just things like that. But this is giving us a clear instruction that, you know, do it with mercy, you know what I mean? And humility, um, because there was a point in time where we had to be cared for by them um, and we're not able to care for themselves. And, you know, sometimes we do have those parents that don't do it you know, 100% with um, grace and care. But as parents, we now know <laughs> the difficulty of being a parent. So give them grace and mercy for that. Um, the other part was, um, that was 17, 23 and 24, that was what I read. Um, the other one was the 31st, which I feel like is a, consolation to console us because it says and kill not your children for fear of poverty we provide for them and for you surely the killing of them is a great wrong and go not nigh to fornication surely it is obeisance and evil is the way and that's just like you know as parents sometimes it gets hard and that's not just financially but sometimes it gets hard um just to figure out the parenting life, how to like learn all of this stuff and figure it out and not harm our children with what we don't know. Um, and this is clear to say like, we are gonna provide for them and you, provide in the way of knowledge, provide in the way of um, finances, provide in the way of strengthening our spirit um, so that we can do this properly. So basically don't give up because you fear lacking, which is what poverty is. Don't give up because you fear the lack of. Just know that we will provide all of it for you. Oh, and then the last thing, sorry, which was on um, verse 78, uh, which was confirmation. Okay, y'all, we, we day two of confirmation to this call. Um, when it said keep a prayer from the declining of the sun to the darkness of the night and recital of the quran at dawn surely the recital of the quran at dawn is witnessed and during a part of the night keep awake by it beyond what is incumbent on thee maybe thy lord will raise thee to a position of great glory so I know it is a sacrifice for us to be on this call. Um, sacrifice by way of sleep. Some of us sacrifice by way of production on the job. Some of us sacrifice by the way of spending time with our children and our family. Um, however, he says, surely the recital of the Quran at dawn is witnessed. Um, and so know that, you know, we're in the right space and we're doing something that he is witnessing. Um, and we were positioned, and we will be positioned for that. And Beautiful. It. Oh my God, Sister Victoria, you pointed out what I already uh, took notes of. So beautiful. Thank you so much. From the parents, our parents are 
our parents. Sometimes it's true that I, I've seen where we, at some point in time in our 20s, I don't know for you, but for me, at some point in time in my 20s, I had this idea of what they should have done and all of that. But having children of our own will humble us immediately, immediately. And um, I can bear witness that my parents, my relationship with my parents, I've never been as good as when I humble myself and recognize their sacrifice, their, their lives that they lived for me to be here and where I am today. And it's so beautiful. Thank you so much, Sister Victoria. That, that's really beautiful. Thank you. Um, Sister Mariama, do you have any comments? I'm like, um, um, yes, I did. And it was on that part as well, because um, that parenting part, Lord have mercy. You know, I want to say that I'm someone who I adore and respect my parents, but I've also been that child that is mm, strong on justice you know in terms of if my parents split when I was a teenager and one of the things I absolutely made a decision about at the time was um, that I would still I would respect both of them and that because they chose each other and because they chose each other, I would never allow them to speak um, ill of each other in my presence because I would say, you know, I wouldn't want that to diminish how I see you because that's your choice. And um, I think that's been a protection on me for a long time. <laughs> And I, I see now like as like married, my, you know, sometimes my husband will be like, oh, you are tough or, you know, on, um, you know, on like on my parents um, and in the same token in on my new parents and humility through parenthood is something that I strive to absolutely have. I don't believe that I've been disrespectful, but this section right here and another token is helpful to me because a little bit before it, so Surah 17, verse 23, it says, before it says that, um, that part, it says in Surah 17, verse 22, associate not any other God with Allah, lest thou sit down despised, forsaken. And then it gives us the instruction. And thy Lord has decreed that you serve none but him and do good to parents. If either or both of them reach old age and thee, say not fie to them, nor chide them and speak to them a generous word. And so fie means used to express disgust or outrage. And so, you know, in this, I'm, I'm humbled still, because even if I've ever felt justified in my stance, my delivery could be a lot better sometimes. It can be good. And I realize that with my child, because my child has those things that I got, <laughs> um, those qualities of justice, and a three-year-old will put it out there. And I respect it when I see it because I understand it. But then that makes me hold on to the wisdom in this book because the wisdom is where, you know, true humility has come in for me. Um, and knowing that I'm not perfect, I'm on this journey and that knowing the limits, I wanna say, um, is, is what I'm learning. And so for me, it's about my delivery sometimes. Um, and 
I'm going to hold, I, I think that's something I want to hold on to from this section is because I absolutely dearly love my parents, but sometimes it's hard to, um, to witness certain things or to take part in certain things or certain things I just will not um, stand for or will not, um, um, will not, um, um, handle properly, I want to say, but this section is telling me to be good to them. They're not God, you know, and that's something that I think brings the humility in for me. They're not Allah, but they were the first representation I know. And so I realized a lot of times that not to go too long, but that sometimes I hold them to that standard because I like during the section when Sister Victoria was reading it, I was, I went back and was just thinking about how good my parents were to me as a child um, before the time that they split. And that they've always been, they've been my biggest support in this life so far. And if they've been a representation of Allah for me, I thank them for that, for sure. And that's something that I, I've got to hold on to is all those memories because they've been very, very good to me but they're not perfect and neither am I. So I'll stop there. Beautiful, Sister Mariana, beautiful. And thank you for sharing, sharing of, uh, of your experience with us because I'm sure a lot of us can, can relate. Um, is there anyone else that would like to share any more comments, please? Type the number one or raise your hand. Um, oh, I'll go, um, but type the number one or raise your hand if you want to give a comment, okay? Um, for me, it's that part, um, chapter 17, verse 94 and 95. Um, and nothing prevents people from believing when the guidance comes to them, except that they say, as Allah raised up immortal to be a messenger, say, had there been in the earth angels walking about secure, we would have sent down to them from the heaven an angel as messenger. And this, uh, for me, when I read it, it's a confirmation again of the minister the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and Master Fad Muhammad Allah, that they are men because we're human beings. And if we were, we were angels, then they would send down angels, but they sent messengers. Um, they sent the messenger and the honorable Minister Farrakhan in our midst because of who we are. Allah sends us someone that is from among us. And this is a confirmation for me. Um, any more comments, please? Okay, sister, sister Jessica is saying, my daughter will not let me get up, but this is what Sister Victoria had mentioned about us being here this early 30 in the Quran. And today I wasn't going to come, although I was awake, I was sleepy, but something in my spirit said, you need to, you need to this, just go. So thank you for the confirmation and for reading the whole time, sis. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for your comments, Sister Jessica. I really appreciate you uh, typing it. And you know, we don't mind, even if we hear uh, your, your child, we don't mind hearing you, it's fine. Um, but thank you so much for that comment. Any more comments, family? Um, I just wanted to add the importance of following clear instruction. Um, 
because to be honest, <laughs> I toyed with the idea of not even being on the call this morning. Um, last night, I I just, in my head, I had so much to do this morning. Um, and I was actually going to be not even sitting down during this call. <laughs> I was just going to be like silently listening on, which I also know that would not have allowed me to get the most from the call, but I feel like I was sat down <laughs> um, by way of reading this morning. Um, and had I chose to be of my own self, there would have been so much that I probably would have missed um, in today's reading that is just so on time. That is so much confirmation. So I'm so glad, Sister Jessica, that you did follow that instruction to be on today's call because it's it's only those, those feelings that you regret. Like you very rarely regret the times where you do something that you, know, that you thought that you were supposed to do. It's only the times where you go against that voice that Allah has given us and then we regret things. So I, you know, urge us to continue to make an effort to listen to those voices because they are the most self-serving, um, especially in a, a time where, you know, we're almost forced and paraded to be other than self and be serving everyone other than ourselves. Um, we should, you know, dive deeper into the voice that we're given because the reality of it is that it's a luxury and a privilege to hear and know. There are some people that hear but don't know, so it's easier for them to disregard. Uh, please, man, that's all I want to share. Praise be to Allah. Thank you, Sister Victoria, the beautiful comment. Um, Sister Mariama, I see your hand raised. Do you have another comment? Okay. Oh, where is it? Okay. Um, any more comments, family? I'm oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I put a message in the chat. I forgot to put my hand down, but um I mean, I'll just read what I wrote. Um basically, um I've been struggling through the night as well. Um, and I, I was like, I don't see how I will wake up for my alarm. And I didn't wake up on my alarm. I just fell asleep at maybe 5 a.m. And at six for the third day in a row, um, I've, my eyes have just opened and I've calmly woken up. And I take that as confirmation that I'm supposed to be on this call. And it's been a little rough for me um, as far as um, like nausea, things like that. Um, but this call absolutely has eased my spirit, body and mind and the reading for sure, just to listen to it has helped me so greatly. So yes, nausea, <laughs> yes, um, yes. So thank you so, so, so much um, because daily, you all have no idea how much your readings assist me daily. Um, to start my day off and to calm, um, calm my body when in the early morning that starts. So thank you. Oh, praise be to Allah. Thank you so much, Sister Mariama, for sharing that. Oh, praise be to Allah. Any more comments? I want to read real quick. I just want to read it. Um, I don't have any comment. It's just, I think it's beautiful. Um, uh, chapter 17 verse 45 and, uh, and when thou recitest the Quran we place between thee and those who believe not in the hereafter a hidden barrier so that's that's an image right there that I imagine in my mind but uh, it's, it's beautiful that Allah places something um, yes, ma'am. Protection. Allah places something as we read the Quran. That's absolutely beautiful. But yes, ma'am. 
What verse is that, Sister Amadi? Uh, verse 45, chapter 17. You're welcome. Praise to Allah. Okay, any more comments, family? I just wanted to add, like, for number 45, verse 45, what's that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And when thou recitest the Quran, be placed between thee and those who believe not in the hereafter, a hidden barrier. Something that came into my, my mind is that, like, uh, I want to say this, but then it sounds like, okay, the thing that came to my mind is that, like, sometimes there are parts of us that are that non-believer. And so when we, when we recite the Quran, we're placing that hidden barrier between those two sides of ourselves to put that side of ourselves in check, even when sometimes, you know, we don't know, you know, I was listening to I think everyone's probably seen the video of the minister going around um, at this point when he's talking about how whenever the, the messenger told him when we go through trials, because it's, it's guaranteed we're going to go through to nurse on the Quran like a newborn does, um, uh, the newborn does his mother. And that made me think of this to say that, like, first of all, I need to get one of those baby Qurans. Um, but secondly, that, like, this goes right along with that to say that when we're going through trial, we're at our most susceptible to those thoughts. We're at our most susceptible to lean into things that are not in alignment with what we were believe because we are weakened sometimes by those trials. But nursing on the Quran, reciting the Quran is what's going to be the difference in our protection against those thoughts, our protection against those feelings. So thank you so much, Sister Amadi, for pointing that out. Thank you. I just want to thank you for saying about the parts of ourselves, because to tell you the truth, there are certain habits that I've noticed that I, you know, certain habits that I didn't like about myself that I started to lose these last few days that I don't want to do anymore. And I completely, completely, I'm sure it's about, is because of us reading the Quran and studying of me reading the Quran and studying with you guys and I know it's like I don't even want to do these things like I don't want to like it's not a part of what I want to do anymore and it's like I'm happy about it I feel like it it's certain habits whether it's a kid eating habits and other stuff like I don't want to do it like I just want to do the best I can to do what's the best for me and um, I, I really feel like this is helping um, any other comments family okay so we're going to conclude is there brother Shafi never was able to connect today i see that okay um is there anyone that would like to pray as we conclude sister victoria go ahead sis Did your prayer in the name of allah the beneficent the merciful all praise is due to allah the lord of the world the beneficent, the most merciful, master of the day of judgment. Thee alone do we serve, and thee alone do we beseech for aid. O Allah, guide us on the right path, the path of those upon whom thou hast bestowed favors, not of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down 
nor those who go astray after they have heard thy teaching. Say, he, Allah, is one. He is one upon whom all depends. He is, he is one upon whom all dep depends. He begets not, nor is he begotten, and there is none comparable unto him. And I bear witness that none deserves to be served or worshipped beside Allah. And I bear witness that the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is his true servant and that's the apostle. And that the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan is his divinely guided reminder and mercy in our midst. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for joining your call Amen. today. Assalamu alaikum family and don't forget to take a walk today. <laughs> Love you too, sis. Mm.